I say, what's up, y'all? It's TC time. What's up, y'all? It's TC time. Sit right back and have a good time. I say, watch this, build this, bam, bam. Hey, guys. This is TC, and thank you for tuning in to TC time. You're looking at the king of detail. Uh, on this channel, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some detailing super tools that I invented. Uh around these parts of Kansas, so I've been known as the best detailer that's ever lived, and I didn't get that way overnight. It took lots of years. I've, you go to any car dealership around this area, and I guarantee you the guy working that's the manager, I trained him. <laughs> and uh, if he didn't used to work for me, the dealership hired him and sent him to me for two weeks so I could train him. So I'm going to show you some stuff that you've never seen before. Uh, I've moved on to bigger projects and I'm working for a global company, not cleaning cars anymore, I'm cleaning bigger stuff. <laughs> so we're not going to talk too much about that, but uh, the whole reason for this video today is I had an audience member and the audience member's name is Fode right now. He left this comment on build this air compressor power pressure washer no tools required and his comment was your idea looks like it works fairly well, but you didn't show how to make the inner pipe assembly. Most important one from what I could tell. You need to do a concise but complete build video from start to finish and include a legible parts list. I'm very interested in making one. All right, so that's basically why I'm making this video today. Uh, all right, the reason why I have such a hard time with parts list is because every time I put one of these things together, I make it out of whatever I got laying around. I mean, you know, the, the brass king's gun, I actually went and I, I bought all the parts branding for that. You know, nothing was kind of pieced together. Uh, you know, and that's the only only time I've ever built one of these that I absolutely knew what was going to happen screwed together before I started because, I mean, I, I can make this thing in the form of a trouble clip now. I know how it works and why it works, the physics, the science. You know, I didn't know any of that stuff when I was inventing it. Well, I know all that now. So I can pretty much take any shape, any length, whatever, and, and make it do exactly what, you're, what you've what you seen in the demonstration videos. Which, by the way, the demonstration video is, uh, is uh, the King's Power Washer Gun. That's probably the best one. All right, so parts list. We're not going to do parts list. I'm going to... I'm gonna, tell you what you absolutely have to have to make your gun work. You absolutely have to start with three quarter inch pipes, your T-fittings, your inner, outer pipes, your couplers, everything needs to be three quarter inch. That's the diameter of your outer structure. The inner structure has to be quarter inch. Okay, The length of your barrel doesn't matter. The, the length of your inner pipe only matters. The only thing that affects the length of your inner pipe is how long you want to make your barrel on your outer pipe. I mean, like, look here, guys. You can you can make one this long. You can make one this long. It's just whatever you think is more convenient. So, you know, your parts are going to vary. They, you just can't go to the store and, at least where I live, and buy a stick of quarter-inch material. You know, the longest piece you're going to be able to find is six inches off the hardware store shelf. And when I designed this thing and made this thing, I wanted to make it to where anybody could go to the store and buy the stuff to make it. So we're going to go from three quarter inch, like I said, for your outer pipe, quarter inch for your inner pipe. Your quarter inch pipe on the inside is going to, you want to reduce it down to eighth of an inch. The easiest way to do that is to buy an air chuck. All right, yeah, just buy an air chuck. Cut the end off of it. Okay, that's a quarter inch, that's an eighth of an inch. After you screw your barrel together and you get it how long you want it, you want to go, like I said, three quarter inch T, however long that piece of pipe is that you want. Then you go to a coupler so you can reduce it down to, so you convert it to garden hose threads. Okay, so that's the total length of your outer pipe. So this inside pipe has got to be about the same length as your outer pipe. That's how you get your length. And if this wasn't long enough, all I would do is I would screw on a, a coupler. I, instead of screwing that right into there, I'd screw that onto there. And I'd 
get another piece of pipe and and I just do that until I ha had the exact right length okay so there ain't no magic special stuff happening because of like the shape of this or the shape of that you just want it to go from a quarter to eight so that's what you have to have that is the parts list you want quarter inch to eighth of an inch on the inside and you want eighth uh, three quarter inch on the outside your hex bushing your hex bushing has to be modified you know I've already modified this one sorry guys but you'll, you'll get the point All right, here's the tools that you need to do your hex pushing. I got three of those tabs laying around here. Where did I put them? All right, here we go. All right, you're gonna get one of these bits from Harbor Freight. This thing's marked so you know exactly how much you need, okay? You're gonna turn your hex bushing upside down. You're not supposed to put a pipe in that direction. You're gonna, you're going to hit it with that bit until you get to To right there. I'm too old to see what that is. But anyways, you want it right there. All you're doing is just knocking off the little lip at the end where they didn't thread it all the way through. You knock it off. Then after you do that, you're gonna take your tap and you're gonna you're gonna put it in as far as you can this way. And if you're lucky, it'll go all the way through just like that right there. Can you see it? Just like that right there. And then you're gonna undo it. And you're going to put it in backwards. You know, when I made this fitting, I probably had to repeat that process four or five times. Go down until it's tight, give it another half turn, back it off, clean the, the burrs out, put it back on. Anyways, you want to do it until you get about that much of it sticking out right there. And that will allow your pipe to go all the way through. Yes. put your die on your threads and there's two directions that these dies go in you just take out the put on the flared end make sure that this is nice and straight look no matter what you're doing don't with this don't ever put a machine on it first put it on by hand turn it as far as you can and you just want to put enough threads on that to where you can get it through the end of this hex pushing okay so once you do that you're good to go Now for all you tinkers out there, you could thread this whole thing, and if you wanted to be able to adjust the how far your inner pipe's going in and out, you know, poking to the through your outer pipe, you could just adjust it with threads. So once you get the you get this dyed and you get that tapped, then you're gonna screw it together. is poking out the other side okay and then this is a variable it's for a paint sprayer but I normally use a ball valve and I just sat it down
but I'm not going to fill around with, with all that, okay? Put you a ball valve on it, then it just looks like that. That's what you want. You know, any, whatever, you just need an air valve so you can put, so you can put your, uh, so you can go ahead and put your air in on it right there. Then you want to, since this one has a male thread on that end, just put you a, a coupler on it. And then put your quick connect on. Okay, once all that's together, like I said, that right there, this part right here, is that's really the only important part. You want to get this part right. The same length as your outer barrel, quarter inch to eighth of an inch. Tap your uh, hex pushing all the way through. When you screw it together, Teflon tape, piped up. If you guys want to, know, you know, know the best possible way to apparently put pipes together, check out my playlist. I got a really good video on that, and it doesn't require any of that stuff. But however you choose to seal your threads up, seal them up like that. Your inner barrel is right in the middle of your outer barrel. Then you put your sweeper hose and nozzle on it. And man, I mean, it ain't pretty. That ain't the prettiest gun I ever made, but I guarantee you that gun will work right there. Air goes in right there, turn on and off right there. Air goes in right there, adjust how much you want right there. Mixes right in here, condenses down to right there. And if I wanted to put a tip straightener on it, like uh, like that thing right there, I can, I can adjust my stream with that. Okay, so, but right now, I hope I hope that that was clear and as concise as possible because that's as clear and concise as I get. I when I build these, I ain't measuring nothing. I'm gonna screw it together. I'm gonna cut it to where it needs to be. I'm gonna make sure my diameters are all right, and because I know it'll work, this is gonna work. So, if you want anybody's new to the channel, you want to see a demonstration of this gun. Uh, Go to my playlist on my channel. It's called the King's Gun Series. I think the best demonstration video is the one called the, the King's uh, Power Washer Gun. I got a crown on. There, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing that hat right there <laughs> in, in the thumbnail. So, you know, just look for the guy in the silly hat. Get a demonstration photo. I hope that answers your question. And I appreciate the, the feedback and, and your input. Thanks for tuning in to TC Time. If you haven't subscribed yet, pl please do that. And if you haven't pressed the like button yet, look here, y'all. Look around. I did lots of work here. You gotta like a little work. A lot of work, right? For, I don't know how long this video is, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I spent two days getting this 15 minute video ready. So, like, subscribe, get notified. This is only the start. Thanks for tuning in to TC Time.